The following screencast will provide you with a demonstration of the Acknowledge Monophasic Action Potential Analysis Routine. The Monophasic Action Potential Analysis Routine is very similar to a number of the other analysis routines whereby the software will automatically score the data for important points label it, mark it, and then provide you with options for displaying the re results as new waveforms, plotting the measurements down into a journal file, and also pasting the measurements directly into a spreadsheet. The file that we're looking at is a guinea pig heart um, file, uh, monophasic action potential signal. To perform the analysis we go to the analysis menu, to the hemodynamics sub-menu, and there's an option in there for monophasic action potential. We select that option, we need to choose the channel number, in this case the action potential signal is on channel 1. The software will create a derivative or it will use an existing dependent upon how you have the file set up. In this example we don't have a derivative so I'm going to create a new one or the software will create a new one. And I'm going to define my recovery point at 90% but you can put that at any number you want. The software will also give you the 100% recovery point as well and I'm going to perform the analysis over the entire graph. So the software is asking us to highlight one of the peaks. I'm just going to highlight one random peak in the file. The peak is selected. Now the software is going through. It's created the derivative channel, which is the second channel, the green one down below. And it's going through and scoring the waveforms and then once it's performed the scoring, it will then go through and extract the measurement values and paste them into our spreadsheet file. And there we have it. There's our spreadsheet with the values from the particular file we were just looking at. As with all the analysis routines, the data is nicely organized in columns with headers along the top. So the cycle number down the first column, time, rate, and then we've got the end diastolic voltage, the maximum voltage, minimum voltage, the plateau voltage, and that's the value of the signal at the start of the plateau after the completion of the upstroke. The stroke amplitude, and the stroke amplitude is the voltage interval between the plateau and the upstroke voltage. And then we've got the dV max and dV min values, and then our two recoveries, one which is factory set to 100%, and then the other is a user-defined value, which uh, in this case was set to 90%. And that's the time interval from the upstroke for the signal to recover a specific percentage of the interval between the upstroke and the maximum voltage between the upstroke and the plateau. Now if we come over to our raw data, zoom in a little bit and we can pick this one here. Okay, so there's our upstroke, the maximum and recovery on the plateau and there's our 90 and our 100% marks and then the derivative is marked for the zero crossing and for maximum um, value for the, the derivative. Zoom back out, and there's our data. And that concludes our demonstration of the monophasic action potential analysis routine.